Yo, what's going on you guys? Drum Machine Addicts is back again with another highly requested tutorial. And today I'm going to give you an overview of some of the racks that come with Ableton, specifically starting with the drum rack. So we're going to dedicate this one to the drum rack. Let me give you a definition of what Ableton says a rack is. A rack is a flexible tool for working with effects, plugins, and instruments in a track's device chain. Racks can be used to build complex signal processors, dynamic performance instruments, stacked synthesizers, and more. So, with that said, that's pretty much a baseline definition. Let's pull in a drum rack to see how they work. All right, if you look to my bottom left, you'll see a four x four cell with 16 pads. If you're used to being a machine or MPC, it's very similar to that. And you can load up to 128 samples. So these are just the first 16 in front of us, but if we click up or down, another 16, another 16. All right, so basically 128 drum samples can fit on there. So if I were to go to some of the Ableton packs or what have you, I could go ahead and add as many drums as I want to. But what I'll do just for the sake of the tutorial is I'll go ahead and add a couple sounds, some really basic stuff, just to show you the premise of how they work. All right, so what I've done is I've gone to the Ableton packs and I opened up a drum rack. All right, and in this drum rack, you can see that across the bottom of the screen, there are a couple different effects and stuff on it too. So it's not really that complex to explain once you get into the nuts and bolts of how they look and how they act. So let's start with the bottom left again. All right, so notice each of those is a different 808 drum on that pad. So if you were to go ahead and play a pattern, you can play each pad just like you would on your other groove boxes like your machine or your MPC or anything of that sort. It's basically the same premise. The reason it gets so much love and so much acclaim is because going back to the defini definition about making, you know, dynamic performance instruments and, you know, complex signal processors, you can start dragging and dropping effects and you can start making macros. If you have Ableton Live's instrument sampler, you can drop a sampler onto the drum rack and then do some really crazy stuff with it. So there's a lot that you can do with the drum rack, but that's pretty much the overview of that. You also have instrument racks, you have effect racks, a lot of different things. So I'm gonna go to the next MIDI channel and I'm gonna pull up, I guess, let's start with an effects rack. Okay, so what I've done just for the sake of things in the tutorial, I really just clicked on four different effects racks that automatically come with Ableton and I loaded it onto the channel. Now you're not gonna hear anything because there's no sound on there. So let's go ahead and fix that too. All right, so I think I'm gonna go over to the orchestral section and you know what, let's pick a woodwind and we'll load it up to an audio track. All right, so we have our oboe on audio track. Cool, just wanted to mute it for a second. Uh, let's go ahead over to the audio effects though, just to kind of show you how an effects rack can work in Ableton. Essentially, the same process it would be if you were loading effects in, I don't know, another DAW, won't say any names, but whatever DAW you use. 
but Ableton makes an added twist because I mean, dude, you can nest racks within racks. It's it gets really complex. I'm going to keep it basic for today. But as we move forward, just know that you can do some really, really amazing things. So let's go on to the audio effects. All right, let's see. Let's go over to audio effects rack. I'm going to go to amp simulation. And I'm just going to start batch loading stuff just so you can see how things change over time. All right, so with that, you pretty much get the point. So I'm going to leave it right there for today. If you come back to the channel, we'll have more videos on more types of racks that you can do in Ableton. And then we'll get really complex to show you how to nest racks within racks, group things together, that type of thing. But as for today, that's pretty much it. You've learned about drum racks and effect racks. If you have any questions, don't forget to hit us up at drummachineaddicts at gmail.com. We'll be waiting to hear from you. Tell a friend to tell a friend and subscribe to our newsletter. Peace.